Yo, what is up guys? Delboy here, aka Blue Collar Sports TV. Hopefully you guys are doing well. Um, if you're new here, smash that like, hit subscribe, all of that good stuff. Now, as you can tell by my chipper voice, I am rather pleased. Bernardo Lopez, Luis Alberto Lopez, becomes the new IBF featherweight champion by beating Josh Warrington by a majority decision. Well, first and foremost, I will say how this fight was a majority decision, I, I don't know. Um, for me, this fight was a clear... I, I, I would say the fairest score for this fight was eight rounds to four in favour of Bernardo Lopez. At a push, at a push, seven rounds to five for Josh Warrington. But a draw card is quite frankly unacceptable. Um... And once again, guess who gave that scorecard? Howard Foster. But once again, once again, it's just a coincidence, you know, um, nothing to see here. This guy's just incompetent, even though every single time he tends to favour the home fighter, the A-side fighter, whether that be when he's refereeing or judging. But that's just a coincidence, you know? It's just incompetence. But thankfully, justice was served. Bernardo Lopez won the fight. Um, and in doing so, he also had to contend with a bullshit referee. Uh, once again in this fight, Josh Warrington's use of his head was excessive. Um, actually opened up a cut on Bernardo Lopez in round two. To be fair though, I think, I think the actual head clash to cause the cut was accidental, but there were so many other occasions where Warrington would just use his head so, so blatantly, uh, even like in the like up close on the inside, he would rub his head into Bernardo Lopez's cut. I mean, it, it was obvious what, what Warrington was doing in there, uh, as well as rabbit punching as well, things of that nature. Warrington in this fight was exceptionally dirty. Now, Lopez is very uh, unorthodox in his approach. Sometimes he'll fight with his hands down, exploding into power shots from the outside, and he'll lunge in. And sometimes sometimes that style does leave you susceptible to uh, getting clashes of heads and things of that nature. But Warrington, in my opinion, was doing it deliberately on several occasions in this fight, as well as for rabbit punching. And Warrington, after the fight, then had the audacity to complain about Lopez's holding. Well, you as the guy who set the precedent here... In regards to illegal tactics, my man was just responding, doing what he could do to get away from your big fucking Space Raider head. Um, I'm glad Warrington lost because the, the last couple of years of Warrington's career has been nothing short of an embarrassment. Goes to show what is wrong with boxing. Vacating a title because he never wanted to fight his mandatory. Takes a tune up against Maurizio Lara. Proceeds to get knocked the fuck out in the rematch. Uh, he was going to get knocked out again. Uses his head to escape with a technical draw, which he took as a win. And then after that, he then reclaims his old title by beating a washed up kid Galahad. What we saw tonight was, in my opinion, justice for the fuckery that Josh Warrington has been committing within the last two years. So I'm glad this guy lost. That's not, that's not sporting, you know, that, that's not boxing, what he's been doing. So yeah, big up to Bernardo Lopez. I felt he started this fight quite well in round one, although Warrington opened up with a really good jab, which kind of uh, really rocked Lopez's head back. You know, he took advantage of Lopez's low hands early on, but after that first sort of jab by Warrington in round one, Lopez came back in, and in my opinion won round one. Uh, he was leading primarily with right uppercuts, which was splitting, which were splitting the guard of Josh Warrington. He was also coming with hooks to the body as well, again leading with these shots. Um, Warrington then started to counter Lopez to the body on occasion, landing a couple of good shots here and there. But for me, the, the powerful shots in round one uh, came from... Uh, Bernardo Lopez. Warrington had success, but it, to me it was a clear, obvious Lopez round. And and I, I reiterate that because the DAZN commentary made out that this round was close, and they did this in several rounds. The DAZN commentary was an abomination. You know, both commentators, Mike Costello 
and uh, in particular, the co-commentator Andy Lee were dreadful in this fight. Round one was a clear Lopez round. Round two uh, was a Warrington round, in my opinion. Uh, I felt it was quite even, actually. Uh, Lopez once again leading with his power shots. Uh, again, in particular, he was really spamming the right uppercut. But Warrington, in my opinion, held his shape a bit better in round two. Landed some good body shots, a couple of good jabs. I felt he was boxing okay, but once again, uh, Lopez was landing good power shots. And it, and it was an even round until uh, the head clash in round two. Um, Warrington tried to fire a right hand, and he was a bit too close, and it resulted in a head clash because Lopez also came in attempting to land a power shot. The head clash happened, and there was a cut over Lopez's, I think it was his left eye, I want to say. But yeah, despite the obvious use of the head from Warrington in this fight, I actually think that one was accidental. And once the action was resumed, I felt Lopez was a little bit, um... I don't know, it, it kind of threw him out of his game, and I felt that kind of made Warrington steal the round because of that. So after two rounds, I have it one all. But after round two, I clearly... I felt Lopez clearly won round three and round four. Uh, once again, he wasn't really changing things up per se, although one thing I will say in regards to Lopez early on in this fight, he was actually making Warrington miss quite a lot, uh, in particular with Warrington's overhand right. Um, Lopez would roll to his side, and he would slip a lot of those right hands from Josh Warrington, and primarily I felt Warrington's best shots in the early rounds were his jab and his body shots, but the right hand was really falling short because... Lopez was rolling it, and, you know, he was catching Warrington through the guard with his right uppercut. He was working the body well, and his jab started to come into play, and we said that in our prediction video. Lopez does have a decent jab when he uses it. He just doesn't use it enough, and he started to jab a bit more as well in these rounds, and he was finding Josh Warrington with that shot. And actually, I think I saw a stat on the zone midway through the fight, and I think after five or six rounds... Lopez actually landed more jabs than Warrington. But yeah, regardless, I felt that Lopez won rounds 3 and rounds 4. He landed the harder shots. He was the guy trying to force the fight, in my opinion. Um, and yeah, he, he started, to, uh, started to look good. Warrington had a good rebound round in round 5. He started to try and get a bit rougher with, um, with Lopez, despite being dirty at the same time, using that head on the inside rubbing it into Lopez's cut, things of that nature, rabbit punching around the side, you know, back of the head. Yeah, he was doing that, but he was also doing some good body work in there, up close. Um, his right hand started to land a bit more frequently as well on Lopez. And Lopez, I wouldn't say he took round five off, but to me, I mean, he was clearly outworked, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, after five rounds, I had it 3-2 uh, in favour of Lopez. Round 6, 7, and 8, to me, were clear Lopez rounds. I felt that Warrington in these rounds really started to look shaky, actually. I think it was uh, it, it was round 6 in particular. Um, Lopez landed a series of left hands to the body, like scooping hooks to the body, to the solar plexus, and a couple around the side as well. And Warrington, in my opinion... He, I, I think he was hurt to the body in round 6, and I don't think Lopez actually knew it. I don't think he realised, and the commentary team didn't pick up on it either, but for me, Warrington's body language in round 6 was really interesting. Uh, he was backing away, kind of hunched over, elbows really tucked in. I think he was hurt to the body in round 6, but, um, but again, I don't think Lopez really realised it. But regardless, he, he bossed round 6, great body shots... Um, some good headshots as well through the middle. And yeah, round 7, round 8, Warrington was trying to regroup, um, trying to pick his moments with his jab. Kind of really, try he, he was trying to uh, pick his spots, so to speak. And, and he was trying to counter Lopez with his left hook. And he landed a couple of good left hooks on Lopez. But the work rate just wasn't there from Josh Warrington. Uh, I, I felt Lopez was the guy who was busier who was looking for the harder punches, he was landing the harder punches, uh, both body and head, and um, yeah, again, I just felt he worked a bit harder than Warrington in rounds 7 and 8. So yeah, at this point in time, I felt that Warrington was really starting to fall behind on the, uh, on, on the scorecards, 
But to his credit, he had a good round nine. He outworked um, Lopez, no doubt about it. Uh, landed some good body shots. He started to counter uh, Lopez with his left hook. Um, and yeah, Lopez was kind of taking the round off and complaining a little too much to the referee, in my opinion. Now, I understand that because Warrington, objectively, is a very dirty fighter. But he was complaining to the referee and then he was getting hit. He was putting himself in harm's way. And yeah, Warrington was taking advantage. He, he was taking advantage of that in round nine. And yeah, for me, Lopez clearly won. Um, sorry, Warrington clearly won round nine. To, War to Lopez's credit, though, he came back in round ten and and rebounded. Uh, clearly won round ten, landing good single uppercuts on Josh Warrington once again, trying to hook to that body, things of that nature. And um, you know, he was landing the harder shots in round ten, no doubt. Uh, Warrington, I think, really kind of put a lot of effort into round 9. It looked like he was taking the round off, or he couldn't really regroup in time to mount an offence. And Lopez took advantage of that by landing good single shots on Warrington. And yeah, just, just really uh, landing the better shots. But I felt that Warrington, prob uh, I, I would say he won the last two rounds. Rounds 11 and rounds 12. Um, once again... Lopez at this point in time was holding a bit too much for my liking and once again he was complaining to the ref a lot which was getting him hit actually um, again uh, you know you expect the referee to do their jobs but we know boxing we know what happens you know these guys apparently are just incompetent and not corrupt the, the referee wasn't doing his job and Lopez should have realized that early on the referee wasn't there to save him um, so I don't know why he was complaining all throughout this fight. He knew the referee was never going to give him a break or give him a fair shot. So he just had to get on with it. But he kept on complaining and it resulted in Warrington basically getting three shots. And I think in round 11, Warrington actually kind of stunned uh, Lopez with a left hook. And then basically followed through with a head clash. <laughs> and yeah, Lopez was complaining. He got caught with a couple more shots. And yeah, Warrington won round 11. And he won round 12 as well for my liking. So for me at least, you know, round 2 was the debatable round in my opinion. Uh, you could have scored it to Lopez, you could have scored it to Warrington. Um, so for me this fight was a clear 7-5 or 8-4 for uh, Bernardo Lopez. I felt this fight was easy to score, quite frankly. And yeah, I'm just, I'm just glad two of the judges got it right. Because, you know, Howard Foster. I mean... 1-13, what an absolute joke. But once again, you know, just a coincidence, nothing to see here. Uh, you know, subjectivity, you know, boxing is subjective, they say. But yeah, I'm glad that Lopez won this fight. Uh, for me, he was the obvious winner. It was a good fight, but I felt this fight could have been a lot better if the referee officiated it properly. I think we, I, I, I think we would have got a lot more exchanges and maybe even a stoppage, but um, it is what it is, it was a good fight, it was a bit messy at times, uh, Lopez, in my opinion, needs to get on that jab a lot more, no doubt, um, but he's got some decent attributes to his game, he's very unorthodox, hits pretty hard, he's got a good engine, a tough guy as well, but yeah, he needs to make improvements in regards to that jab, and also his distance control because he was kind of firing out of range at times where he would kind of fire in with uppercuts or left hooks and he would fall short and it would give Warrington a chance to um, to land his shots. But yeah, I mean, hopefully Lopez improves after this fight. It's good experience for him. But, um, you know, now's the time for celebration for Bernardo Lopez. So yeah, um, congrats to him. As for Josh Warrington, I mean, he can come again. He is a good fighter, despite my criticisms of him. He's a tough guy, but, um, you know, he needs to go back to the drawing board, ultimately. But, um, yeah, we'll see where he goes next. As for Bernardo Lopez, I'm not really interested in seeing a rematch. I mean, if Warrington wants a rematch, go to Mexico, as far as I'm concerned. Lopez is the champion. Go to Mexico. But in reality, I want to see Bernardo Lopez versus Maurizio Lara. Give Lara his title shot. How about that? That'll be nice. But um, yeah, share your thoughts below. What did you make of this fight? 
And also, but before we end, fuck Andy Lee. He's an awful commentator. Dreadful commentator. He was trying to prime the audience to uh, prepare for a robbery. But fortunately, the robbery never came, you know? Fortunately, Bernardo Lopez got the W. And yeah, fuck Andy Lee. Company man. Dreadful commentator. Um, yeah, but what can you... I mean, it's what we expect these days, right? But anyway, enough of my moaning. Um, share your thoughts below. It was a good fight. Could have been better. Um, but yeah, share your thoughts below. Beanie Guy Del Boy. Peace.